guys, welcome to Plugging Outdoors. We got Bob and Santana here. Uh, we are in the room that the pups were in here. I'll give you a, a little view here. Um, we ripped out the carpeting, we primed the walls, and uh, now we're gonna rip off the trim. This thing is getting new flooring and we're painting the rest of the ceiling. We didn't get you on the primer, I didn't really think about it, but now as I think about it, maybe you guys wanna see this. Um, so yeah, so we had the pups in this this room. This was a bedroom. Um, we never used it besides for storage, and it was way outdated. It had shade carpeting. We tried to save the carpeting because it's coming up close here for us to rent our house out, and uh, by, by putting that plastic down, but it just didn't work. It was too humid in here for the duct tape to stick, and it, they actually got under the carpet. So we ripped out the carpet um, right away, and we're just gonna redo the whole room. Um, we're putting luxury plank vinyl down. It's not very luxury or nothing, it just looks like wood. And then it's gonna be painted white. So yeah, we're gonna take you guys along, here we go. I should mention, we're taking the trim off on the bottom here, because you have to take that off to get the flooring in. Um, and we thought, well, before we actually paint it and get around a little close to these edges, um, we might as well take them off before we start painting. We wanna get the, um, the trim off, we wanna paint, and then we wanna do flooring. That way if uh, we get spill any paint on the new floor, we don't have to clean it up, it's just, you know, this floor, the subfloor they got on here. Um, so that's the game plan, so yeah, we're just going to take off all this trim here. I'll put you guys on a little montage, I guess if you want to call it, and uh, we'll get moving. Here we go. finished carpenter I'm sure a lot of you were cringing watching that but I got her done um, yeah so next I'm a I think I'm gonna trim all the windows with the paint and around you know the door to, um, excuse me the cupboard the cupboard the closet and uh, that little room there and then you know around there as well so I am one of those people that I do not tape around all that stuff. I used to. I did it one time, actually. I never shouldn't even say I used to. I did it one time. I'm like, why wouldn't you do it? You know, you just put tape around everything. Yeah, it takes a little bit. Then you can just go mad wild and, and start painting. Well, <laughs> they don't ever tell you that the paint seeps right through some of the, some of the stuff. You don't get perfect. So then you're there cleaning dry paint off all of your... Uh, window trims and whatnot so what I do is I get a, a brush which I'm not sure if we have it in here or not but it's a very uh, thin edge brush that's like tapered and I don't know it's an inch and a half two inches oh there it is uh, kind of 
But basically I just take a small brush like this and then I go around, take my time and I just do a brush stroke around there. A brush stroke, not a brush stroke, a brush stroke around there. Um, and then Santana will come by with the roller and uh, roll as close as she can. So it works out pretty well. We did it in a couple other rooms and uh, it takes a little bit of time. This one won't be bad. There's only two windows and three doors to do so I can do this pretty quick. But yeah, so that's next. So here we go. Let's start trimming. Brad, I tell you, we're just, well, maybe I told you, I don't remember. We're just using uh, white paint in here. So we have plans for this room that's not for it to be a bedroom, but like I said before, we have renters coming. So we have to pretty much make this back into a bedroom. Um, and long story short, the flooring that's going in here, we're actually using for our living room. Um, when we do that, probably this winter is our game plan to finish that. Um, but what we did is we bought all the flooring now we're going to do this little room and the living room is like four times, three times the size of this room. So we're just using a little bit of the flooring. Um, maybe we won't, we'll do it as, <laughs> with the least cuts as possible so we don't waste too much. Um, but that's a game plan for this. We're using white paint. That won't be the final color in here. We're going to definitely change it. But if we need something quick and this is easy and we can paint right over it when we decide to do whatever color we're doing in here. But anyways, uh, let's start trimming. paint on here. So all you take is either a paper towel or a wet rag and you, you wet it and get it right away. It comes off real easy. Don't even know it's there. It's a little trick there but yeah you can see it's not perfect but it's good enough for us. No professional but it makes it a lot quicker than tape and I can guarantee you that. So here we go. Painted. It's a plain white. 
Um, and now we're going to do the flooring. So, so the next step. Um, and just remember, uh, we're not professionals at doing the flooring here by any means. It'll look pretty good, hopefully, when we're done. And uh, also remember that this is going to be, uh, or not going to be a bedroom in the future. Um, so we're going to actually start on this corner up here, which is as far as away from the door. We're going to go this way, and then we're going to come back towards the closet and the little closet and the door. Ideally, I think you'd want to start over there and go this way so the, the nice straight line is going across that that wall and not like cut in half. Um, but we're going to be reusing these floor, um, vinyl, this vinyl flooring for our living room. So we don't want to cut too much and this will give us a nice straight line. It'll go pretty easy. And then if we have to cut into there um, where the uh, closets are, they can. So again, this is not permanent at all. We just have to make it look nice. Um, we got some renters coming um, soon here, so we gotta get this get this done. And this is our quick fix. And uh, yeah, here we go. Alrighty, so these are the tools you're gonna need. Um, you're gonna need a speed square um, to get good lines. When you have your measurement, you're gonna need your tape measure and a pencil. You're gonna need a rubber mallet, and you're gonna need um, I don't know, probably. 25 of these um, spacers are called. They come in a kit with these other tools here. These are uh, maximum quarter inch uh, spacers and they're um, uh, tapered so they go down. So there's a couple different measurements you have in here. And what those are used for is I'll show you um, right after this. Um, they're just to get the space in between the wall and the vinyl flooring. Um, so I got some of mine on already. Um, you'll see that here shortly. And then you're going to need these tools. So these are, are tools that are vinyl floor, pretty much specific. Um, I got these on Amazon. I'll try to put the link down below, um, which is not affiliate. I don't get any money, but this is what I use. It was pretty reasonable. I think they were like 30 or $35. I'm not really sure. Um, but they're basically what they're used for, and you'll see me use them. Um, they have ridges on there, if you can see that, on this end and that end. And it's flat here. And so what the idea is, when you have to... Um, hammer these vinyl flooring in together just to get them to sit tighter. You hit, hit this end with the mallet you're not hitting your vinyl flooring. It's hitting with the plastic so it works pretty slick. Um, this one is for when you're up against a wall and you can't swing a mallet because the wall's in the way. It's got a, a ledge here which hooks on to the vinyl flooring and then you can hammer here and then basically it hammers it back in that way. Again I'll show you how to use these tools as we go on but uh, not sure what those are called. Um, but I'll put the link down below. And then this is the flooring that we're going to use. It's SmartCore Pro from Lowe's. Um, it's uh, more expensive than we that I really like to go, but uh, it's 100% waterproof. And we've got the Burbank Oak. Um, it's also scratch resistant, and with three having three dogs, um, we kind of pretty much had to go to the highest end, and then hopefully we never have to do flooring again. So that's the plan. This stuff does come with a padding um, on the. Um, on the bottom so we don't have to put down any pre pre padding or anything like that you can if you want if you do want it You know softer or quieter or whatnot. This stuff has it all in there. So we're literally just be laying planks down um, But yeah, here we go All right, the first thing we gotta do is put these spacers in um, I think they're a quarter inch and that's just leave a gap between the floor and the wall um, So that they can move and, and whatnot That's what the instruction says. I'm no professional at this So all we're doing is we're just taping them on here don't mind that little guy. Just taping them on here and that gives us that spacing and then the floor will hit that. I think that'll make more sense as we start laying them down here. Alrighty, so we got the first piece laid. So we're running the boards this way. It gets a little confusing. I messed up the first time we did one of these floors. Um, but what you wanna look for is when you lay your first piece, they have these little ridges, these gray ridges, which the other side doesn't really have anything, but these, this is where the board comes in and you go down and it snaps into. So you'll see that, that one that sticks out farther, that's what you want to be putting more boards into, if that makes sense. And then same goes 
um, for the outer end here. You can see this lip that goes around there. Versus this corner that doesn't have anything. It's on, underneath, you can see, is where that ridge is. So just make sure you start with that. So this, wherever these little lips are on the bottom, that's where you're gonna be going to. And the lip is on that end, so I'm gonna be going that way. That's how you wanna start it. Otherwise, you're gonna be fighting it, and you don't wanna do that. I know from experience. So here we go. Oh, I should also mention we are doing thirds. It looks really nice. Um, the instructions say that I think you can either do thirds or halves. Um, the thirds look really nice, but I guess thinking about it, maybe we'll do halves. It'll make this a lot easier and a lot less cuts. But then we're gonna be doing thirds another one. No, we're gonna do thirds. That way they, those will be end, end starter pieces. Talk myself out of it. Here we go. All right, so I just laid my first piece in there. You can see it's loose. Um, in there, I'm gonna run this runner. Um, this one, so my room must not be square here. You can see there's a little bit of extra room, but you're gonna wanna make sure, I don't know if this will show up in camera, but you're gonna wanna line this, these boards up. If you start getting out of whack here, you're gonna be fighting that all the whole time. So these first ones are really important. So make sure the, the wood part here is lined up. This doesn't matter as much here, but this does. So next thing you're gonna do is come down on this end. You guys a little set up there. And then I'm just gonna take this, take this end here and the, I'm gonna put the lip just so that it's underneath that and I'm just gonna give it a couple taps. That just kind of hits that hole. Oops, came off just a little bit. Little taps here. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna check this corner here. Looks pretty good. I'm so sorry, I'm probably moving you guys around way too much, but I'm gonna come here and hit these two just so that they're close enough. So we really want to get this straight. So yeah. Alrighty, so like I said. Um, we're gonna do thirds, um, so we're gonna layer them one or do a full one and do two thirds, do one third, and then a full one, two thirds, one third, um, just like you would do shingles. Um, the, the instructions do say you could do halves if you wanted to. I think it looks nicer doing thirds, um, so we did that on the last floor and uh, it looked really nice. So that's what we're gonna do here. So I got my two thirds piece here, um, so you can see I got my my my. Um, what you want to call it, my edge on here and on the bottom here again I'm working this way and that way so that's where those edges got to go so we'll, we'll go ahead and get this in here all right to put these in um, you just kind of go in at an angle here actually I need a spacer these end ones you use a lot of these spacers um, if you can see that um, just to butt up against but you, you just go in at an angle here and there's a little lip inside of there. You kind of shove into this other one and get it about lined up and then go down. It's gonna kind of go down a little hard, which is what you want. We'll kind of lift up this other one, so be sure you hold on to that. Be sure you hold on to that. And then uh, it's got a nice tight seal right there. But just to be sure, we're gonna go ahead and use this guy. And I'm gonna use this edge here. I'm gonna put it right on the vinyl, but on top of my leading edge. And then I'm gonna take my rubber mallet and just give it a couple taps, just to hit it home. And I'll create a nice seal right on that one. So, uh, so yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and do that other third. So again, Always make sure you got your edges going the way that you want. So there's the edge, I'm going that way. Here's the other edge, and I'm going towards me. Grab my other, another spacer here. And then the same thing. Gonna go in at an angle. Gonna kind of hold this one down over here. Oops, I got a nail. And then just, oops. And, 
well that would have been a good thing to show you guys I'm sure there'll be another one uh, but this one popped out a little bit it wasn't sitting in there right um, but I just tilted it back up and corrected it and then so give it a little bit of hit here and you'll see them if you watch the seams they, they go in tighter they're going pretty good so there we go got our first three laid out and then we're running down here we go I didn't realize that this next one was going to be a, a cut piece. Um, we got the vent here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go grab the vent and just make sure that will cover, which it should. All right, so we just got this cut out. Um, pretty self-explanatory, but basically I measured um, from the end of that one to here, um, and then measured from here to here and just cut that one out. And then we're going to do the same over here. Um, so we got that one in. Um, you can see that this, this one's lifting up a little bit. Um, we'll try to fix that as we go, and it should lay flat once we get the trim down on there too. Um, but it is sticking up a little bit, but I'm not too worried about that right now. And we got a good fine line right there, so we're looking good. Okay, so this one is a two and an eighth. So I'm doing the other side of that vent. So two and an eighth. And then we've got three inch gap there. Take the feed square. Down to that. And then, one more time, make sure we're good. Looks good there. Pretty good there. Let's roll. Okay, we got that in there. You can see it's, this isn't really sitting very well. I might put some <laughs> boards down just to kind of hold these in place, but uh, we'll see if we can, we'll get it. We'll fight it for a little bit here. But yeah, so you can see that, that lip's hanging up there, but once I get that next board to come in, that should hold all them together. And I have a little bit of um, lifting up over here, but again, that should all go down um, when you put the trim on. And it might just start laying flat anyways on its own, so. So yeah, there we go. Now I think we're ready to, to terrorize this hole.
trick that I'll mention here is uh, when I do those starter pieces where I'm doing a third, so I'm doing 16 inches is the short one, 32 inches is the middle one, and then I use a full piece and that gives me my third. So what I do is you look at the corner here, so if you can see I got my my lip here and my lip here, so this is the side that I'm going to be running on because I'm going to be going that way. Um, so I'll measure from here over 32 inches and then I'll put the second board underneath and I'll do it opposite because the other end is going to be my 16 inch piece. So as you can see here, it's a non-lip non and a non-lip and I'll measure and then when I cut, I just cut once. And what you end up getting is one 12 inch piece and one 32 inch piece that are runners this way and then you have those two opposite ends that you need. So one little trick there, I hope that makes sense. Um, but it saves you, it saves you time on cutting, you just do one cut and then you have a small piece left over and a big piece left over that you can use for the end pieces, which we're gonna do right now. So again, these, these end pieces, they don't need the little lip on there. You know, like this, they don't need that because we're going to be done running. So we're going to use those end pieces that that I just cut off and and uh, fill them in. All we need is a, uh, the overhang on the one side, which I'll show you guys that too. So let's go find some pieces. Okay, so we're on the the far end here. You know, we started over there, and now we ran to the wall, and I just ran it as far down as I can. Um, so now we got to do these end pieces. And like I said before, now we don't need that leading edge on here, but what we do need is if you flip them over, there's an underside or an overhang, I should say, that goes on to those, these leading pieces. So that's what you're gonna need on these, these end ones. So I had all these miscellaneous cuts from doing the starter pieces, and that's what I'm gonna use for the end pieces here. So it saves me some, instead of cutting a full one. So here we go. So just to show you guys how these ones work, so pretend this is the one that's running here. You can see my lip I got there, and I got this other one, which on the back side has this overhang. So yep, you just go in at a 45 degree angle here. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. And you can see how it meets up really nice, and all you do is you just lay it down. And then you can see how these are tippy, and you just hit the mallet, make sure there's no crease. So right now I got a little bit of a crease which is just for me being one hand, but if you just push on that hard, then that crease goes away. Or there's, you can see the gray, you don't want to see any gray. Now you can't and it lays right down. So that's how that works. And then for on the ends here, where we got, you know, where this next piece would go, all it does is it just lays right on top of there. And basically there's a little lip in there that stops it from going left and right. So that's all there is to it. And then as you go, as you, you want to keep it as straight as you can. It definitely helps having a square room, which this is an old farmhouse and there's no square rooms. So we're gonna have some fun, but it looks like we're gonna be just perfect. I say that now and then wait till we get down to that end. And it's not gonna be square anymore. We'll be cutting at angles, but uh, we're gonna see how she goes. Here we go.
haven't had to use this one much, so I thought I'd show you guys this. So I have a little bit of a seam in here, so I want to hit the board in this way. So I just took this, it's got a little edge on there, put it right on the vinyl, and then you can hit on this end. So see if I can get her to move. It's not perfect. Perfect, but it's better. Carry on. All right, guys. She is all done. Flooring, that is. So yeah, I'm not sure how long that took. Um, we started, I don't know, let me look at time. Yeah, so it took about two hours, and this is about a 125 square foot room. But yeah, so we got that done. The last thing we gotta do is trim. And then we gotta move all the stuff in here. So I'll probably lump all this stuff into one video. So uh, this will be an another day coming right at you. Here you go. All right, guys. So uh, here's the reveal. This is what it looks like. All finished. talked about uh, in the beginning of this video that this is a temporary fix here we need to get this done because we had some renters come in um, so we did put a carpet down or a rug I should say um, just to protect the flooring I mean it's pretty tough flooring as it is but um, we don't want anything to happen to it and this flooring is actually get ripped up um, hopefully in the near future and be put in our living room um, so you guys see that video this room should be uh, not a bedroom we're not really sure what we're gonna do with it um, it's way off into the distance where we got plans for it but like i said we had to get something in here um to get it done uh for our renters so yeah so that's it uh thank you guys so much for watching i hope you like this type of video i know i've been doing a whole bunch of uh different types of videos right now um we got some hunting coming up um in fall here it's almost september already so uh we'll, that's when september 1st is when hunting starts for us so hopefully i'll get you guys some videos of that it's pretty cool i enjoy doing that type of stuff hopefully you guys enjoy it um, and then uh, after hunting we got wood cutting and ice fishing so it's gonna be a pretty busy time here and hopefully I can get some good videos for you guys. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope to see you next time. Take care.